Hi guys, Brick Clicks are back, and today we're going to be doing a review on the M2HB from Brick Arms. So this retails for six dollars um, on the Brick um, on the Brick Arms site, but um, you can get this at like GI Brick or Brick Mania. Um, so yeah, let's look at the packaging first. So this is what it comes in. Um, it has a card. It's a very big bag. It's actually not that big, but it's pretty big. Um, cause, um, the actual gun is really big, so. Um, it says M2HB, Brick Arms, Warning Choking Hazard. On the back it has M2HB, it shows all the parts. See that? Um, then it's Choking Hazard again. Um, all the parts came in this little baggie. It's clear. Yeah, and that was inside the big bag. Um, so yeah, you saw the card, but now what you really want to see was the gun. So here's the gun. I have it on a little stand. As you can see, you can take that off. Okay, so this thing is really big. Um, let me just scale it up to a figure. Like that. It's way taller than that. And, um, so yeah. Um, it looks good in the Jeep and things, and I'll show you that later. Um, but I'll show you all the parts first. So first, here's the ammo box. It's a new mold. Has the well, has the bolts on the top. Uh, yeah, it's a hole in the bottom. You can fit on a stud, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. Yeah, it can fit on a stud. That's really cool. So yeah, and that would fit into this main part here. Let's turn it over. Fin this main little hole there. Hole. Um, then this is, um, I'm pretty sure this is to unjam it or to, um, put another round in. I'm not absolutely sure. You can put it in the comments. What, oh, sorry. Um, see so yeah, that, that little piece? It's really small. That goes into this here. So yeah, check that out. <clears throat> Here's the back handle. Um, a little guy cannot hold it like this because his arms are too wide. I think that's what they decided. So, um, if you look, uh, um, you can only hold one end. End. So yeah, I'm okay with that, I guess. Um, I think it's fine. But yeah, if you want to see the piece by itself, here's the piece by itself. Two handles. Yeah. Next, um, this is the main thing. Um, uh, right there, that's where the hole is for the tiny piece I showed you. The barrel is, whoa, it's like giant. Let's go that up to a figure. So, yeah, that's about how big it is. It's giant. Okay. So, this is really big. Um, a mini figure can hold this. So many can many figure can hold this in his hand. So that's cool. Sorry, move the camera. Um so yeah. Um next uh, let's look at the stand. So there's a stand there, as you can see. Um let's take that off this main part. Um these two ends can be held in a hand. Um but this big thick part can't. Um, so here's the little stand. Um, it's very cool. Um, when you put it on, uh, there's the, the it's two little bumps. Um, if you can see that there. And this will go right on there. And it can swivel back and forth. So yeah, um, here, um, this is actually two pieces. It's kind of hard to get them undone, but this first section in the bottom right there and then this top part here are two different pieces so yeah um <clears throat> that's basically um the m um 2 hb m2 hb sorry yeah um so <clears throat> it's a really big gun uh it's retails for six dollars like i said um you guys should be looking out for more videos, but um, right now I'm going to be showing you 
it on a Jeep. And this is how big it is compared to a Jeep. It's pretty giant. So it's on a Rickmania Jeep. It looks very nice on it. It's really big. Oh yeah, I even forgot a piece. Yeah, no, I'm gonna rebuilding it. If you see the hole there, I never put this piece in. And I'm pretty sure this can be held by a figure. So, that's nice. Um, yeah, so, ah, oh, dang, I'm just gonna take all these guys off. All these guys off. Uh, okay, so guys, I hope you like this review of the M2HB. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you next time. This is the Brick Clips.